What's up, guys? Oh, just finished up for the day. Sat up in Massachusetts for a while. Finally got a load this afternoon. Going down to Delaware. I'm down in Carney's Point, New Jersey now. Took a while getting loaded, and then a bunch of traffic coming down through Connecticut. Some Massachusetts Connecticut traffic. And it was just a pain in the ass today. Not to mention sitting around for a couple hours looking for a load this morning. So I uh, about to make a quick video. I'm getting ready to take a walk around the truck stop. Just stretch my legs out a little bit before I go to sleep. Um, but I wanted to mention something real quick. It's a little cold out there. Here, got the keys. This pisses me off a lot. Every time I go to a truck stop, no matter what truck stop you go to, you end up looking at these lines here where you back up to. You got Western Express right there. Back three feet over his line. And the guy that's backed up to him, I'd say about six feet from the line to the back of his truck. This guy here has got about four feet. No truck there. Look at this. This tanker here is, I'd say about four feet, another four feet to the line from that driver. This driver's over a couple feet. That's just a straight job, so it don't matter. He's inside the hole anyway. This guy's over by four feet. This guy's not even close to the hole by about 10 feet. And it just keeps going on and on. I shouldn't be able to walk through here at all. All these trailers should be butted up right against one another. And all it takes is three minutes, if that, of a little extra work to walk to the back and see if your trailer is all the way to the back where the line is. These spaces are filled up. Oh, look at this, right on the line. Three feet from the line, over the line, at the line, at the line. This is perfect. This is perfect. I can still walk through there. They're not butted right against each other. They don't have to be touching each other. But this, this is, this is as close to perfect as you can get uh, without touching. I mean, a lot of the times I, I get right up and I touch the other trailer. All three of these guys. And here's the other problem. This trailer, this trailer, and this trailer. Now, Schneider might have been the first one. Or this guy might have been the first one. Or that guy might have been the first one. One of these three trailers was the first one. And now they backed in and they lined themselves up with one another. They're perfectly in line. That one right there is maybe a few inches further forward which actually put us them a little closer to the line. But they're, all three of them, a foot over the line. This one's not bad, he's right on the line. This one's right on the line. This one's right on the line. I mean, they're just over the line by maybe, he's just hovering over top of the line. As you can see there. 
So that one's just over. This one's just over. This one, it's about two and a half feet from the line. And I can probably just barely squeeze through there. Anyway, I want to make my point. The whole reason that this matters is a simple fact when drivers are trying to park across from another row of trucks like this, they have that much less room to swing their tr truck in. It's, it, it gets tighter and tighter. I mean, look at the nose of the trucks. Sticking in, out, in, out, in, out. Yeah, all the trucks aren't the same length and whatnot. That's where you end up with pulled out bumpers like that. It's just ridiculous. You get down here a little bit. And the other guys do it the same way. And they don't even have a line. They have a freaking curb. But they have a front line. battery die but I want to point this out real quick there's his window there's his window this is the guy that's across from or uh, backed up to Western Express and that's because he's not over the up to the line and neither was this guy and I'm backed in all the way we both have let me double check here yeah let me get this camera turned around There we go. We both have 48 foot trailers. So, benefit of the doubt, maybe one of their trucks are a little bit longer than mine. But I can guarantee you one thing, neither one of them are, that one's gotta be eight feet in front of me. And this one's probably about four feet in front of me. Neither one of them are that much bigger than me. Yeah, I bet if I matched tires on the trailers, we would be like nose and nose. But anyway, that's my point. It's just, you know, it, it, it only takes two minutes to use a little bit of extra uh, courteous... Courteousness? <laughs> Is that a word? Be a little more courteous to each other. That's that's all I'm trying to say. You know, you. It, you got a lot of the rookies, um, no offense to them, but you know, they're coming in, they're learning how to back and, and we're, we're leaving them less and less room because we don't want to be bothered to take two seconds to walk to the back and see how much more we have to go before we're at the line. I've, I've backed up to people that, for instance, the, the guys that are three feet over the line, um, yeah, they're plenty far in on their side, but now they're sticking me out however far they're sticking, you know, over into my into my hole. I'm now sticking that much further out into my lane, causing people across from me or next to me, you know, a hard time to back in or uh, pull out that are, that are next to me. Um, so it's, it's just, it, like I said, it only takes two seconds to walk back there. You walk back, you make sure that one, you're either not over the line or two, you're right up next to the line and not, you know, five feet from the line. Um, so just take a couple extra seconds to make sure that you're doing it. Um, but the, for the guys that, that actually back into my hole, I, I back right up against them. I've actually had them get out of their truck to, to come see what was the matter because I, I gave them a nice little tap on the back doors. I don't hurt nothing. I put, you know, the rubber bumpers right up to each other, but, you know, it, it, it jolts the inside of the fucking truck. I can tell you that much. I've had people back into me um, unintentionally, but how, how lightly they tap, I don't even bother getting out and look because I know they didn't hit me hard enough to, to do any damage. Anyway, that's my, uh, what was supposed to be a quick video, probably turned into probably 10, 12 minutes. I'll try to cut it down a little bit, but hope you guys enjoyed. Stay safe, and uh, we'll catch you next time.